This is with some Rice Krispies. Now, if any of you have seen some of my other lectures, you may have uh, seen when I'm reacting Rice Krispies with oxygen in the form of liquid oxygen. And then we light it with a stick, and the Rice Krispies go up quite drastically. Well, this lecture, of course, is all about water. So I'm going to start this reaction with a drop of water. So the Rice Krispies are flammable. Okay, um, We can burn them. After all, this is what gives us our energy. But this time, rather than using oxygen, either from liquid oxygen, pure oxygen there, or the oxygen from the air, um, I'm going to use a solid compound called sodium peroxide. So I'm just going to sprinkle this over the Rice Krispies in much the same way you'd sprinkle your sugar on your Rice Krispies. OK, I just uh, mix it up nicely. And again, no problem here. So the Rice Krispies, perfectly happy there. Nothing's happening until I add some water. So, drop in pipette, add a little bit of water, in the same way you would add your milk in the morning. Maybe you'd add a bit more, but uh, anyway. So we'll come round. So Rice Krispies, peroxide, and there we are. rather violent reaction. Now, Rice Krispies, of course, give us our energy. It's one of the sort of foods that we can learn, uh, use to provide our energy. And you'll notice in the bottom, the burnt Rice Krispies, well, the container is actually red hot now, but in the bottom there's a sort of a black mass. This mass is, is carbon. This is one of the um, elements that's present in the, uh, the Rice Krispies.